97, I think, when um, uh, I first saw uh, David Gilmore playing on MTV. Um, and uh, at the time, it, uh, you know, I was, I was fairly impressed as a, as a young uh, teenager who was just starting out playing guitar. And um, he was a guy that clearly was a, a master at his, uh, at his art. Um, I just literally started playing guitar a, around that time, so it left a fair impression on me at, at that point. Um, one of the first albums that I ever bought was the Momentary Lapse of Reason. A flight of fancy on a Momentary Lapse of Reason is my favourite Floyd album. David Gilmore um, left a fairly significant influence on me as a young guitarist uh, at that point in time, and uh, you know I still think some of the work that he was doing with songwriting and um, and just you know um, the passion and the, the feeling that he plays with in some of those songs on that particular album are, are, uh, are quite amazing and, and um, you know, have left an impact. Yeah, so uh, as I said, I, I started playing guitar um, as a, I think it was probably around 14 or 15. Prior to that, I'd, I'd tried a heap of different things and, you know, karate and taekwondo and tennis and football and all the rest of it, but none of those things really stuck. Um, a good friend of mine from school was uh, was playing guitar and I uh, thought that was pretty cool and something else that I wanted to have a crack at. Uh, so I uh, begged my parents to buy me a, a guitar, which they were kind enough to do. Bought me a, a, a guitar and a little practice amp and used to sit in my bedroom for hours on end uh, playing the same songs over and over again. I was um, uh, taking some lessons down at the uh, local music uh, centre. Um, did that probably for best part of 12 months or so but uh, you know jamming with friends at school and it's just one thing that's always um, you know the one thing that's always stuck has been music it's been there ever since um, you know in one shape or another whether it's playing music or or listening to music it's just such a massive part of, uh, of my life um, but uh, you played in numerous bands over the years um, done some acoustic stuff and played in some original bands uh, way, way back um, but Nothing really compares uh, to what we are doing now, the sheer scale and professionalism of what we're doing, the number of people we're playing in front of and the venues that we're fortunate to play at. Um, you know, for me, this is a, it's, it's a, a dream come true in a lot of respect. You've got to be crazy. Got to have a real me. Went along to the first audition, uh, fairly underdone, uh, to say the least. It wasn't really sure what to expect at that point but um, gone to the, uh, the the audition met the guys in the band and they were of course all, all amazing and really nice and warm and welcoming etc um, but uh, to say that um, I was a little intimidated was probably a little little understatement just the sheer scale of, of uh, what was going on even back then and that was probably five years ago just the you know the size of the amplifiers that everyone was using and the um, the professionalism and uh, and the quality of what they were putting out at that point in time, um, I've sort of walked away from that first audition, not really too sure about how I'd done, uh, and um, uh, you know, but effectively uh, walked away thinking, geez, I, I want to be part of this. Uh, so uh, after that first audition, was fortunate enough to get asked back for a, for another audition, um, but made sure before the, the second one that I'd done a fair bit more homework. Uh, and, uh, and came back and did a second audition, got through that, and I think there might have even been third or subsequent auditions, but um, eventually got asked to, to join the band, which is one of the best decisions that, that I've made. So, um, yeah, the rest is history, I guess. When I first started getting into uh, Pink Floyd and, and watching, um, you know, uh, uh, Delicate Sound of Thunder, for example. Uh, my focus as a guitarist is on David Gilmore because he's ripping out these amazing solos. Um, not so much on the rhythm guitarist. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're never really front and centre anyway. So I don't think it's it's overly well known that there is a snowy white or an equivalent in, in a lot of bands. There's so much going on in Pink Floyd music and, and uh, you know, I think there's probably so much work that's gone into the multiple tracks that are put down on particular uh, um, songs to recreate that in a live environment. You need so many different 
musical instruments. And, and so for me, the rhythm guitar is about um, recreating the song that we all know. There, there's so many different sounds and, uh, that I'm trying to recreate, and I think that's really important as far as trying to recreate that Pink Floyd experience or the Pink Floyd sound. So very much in the background, which I'm ha happy with. Um, but there's a lot going on around little nuances and different bits, bits and pieces that sit behind the lead guitar. It's hard learning to play an instrument um, because when you first start playing it sounds terrible as a general rule of thumb and it takes a long time and a lot of practice um, before you start sounding good um, and then uh, so, so perseverance is important um, continue to, uh, your practice uh, you, you've got to have a I think you've got to have a, a passion for it um, to make that commitment to push through the you know the pain of having blistered fingers and that sort of stuff, um, you know. So you've got to have a passion for it. Do something that, that, that you love doing. Play music that you enjoy playing with, and find a group of people that have similar interests, and you know you want to share that experience together. It's, uh, it's something that. Um, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in, uh, in presenting a, a professional show and a show that, that people are going to love. Um, the feedback that we get from, from our crowd and our, uh, our audience has, has always been fantastic. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a show that we put a lot of work and a lot of heart and soul into. Uh, we love playing the music um, and, and we love it even more, the fact that uh, the people that come and, and watch us play it uh, thoroughly enjoy it. So. Um, We'd love to see you at one of our shows. Um, come along and, and, and make sure that, uh, that if you do, you, you say hello to us uh, after the show also.